up YouTube. Today I'd like to talk about the perception of Islam and whose job it is to change it. Fundamentally and the perception that people have of it. Now, I wear an Adidas hat and almost every single day, every video I've done on YouTube just about as I've had this Adidas hat on. All over a hundred and something videos so far. And if there was a bunch of people out there and they were running people down, blowing themselves up to kill other people, stabbing people to death, and this happened all the time, but I still wanted to wear my Adidas hat, you know, and they were wearing an Adidas hat, and I still wanted to wear my Adidas hat, but I didn't want the negative stereotype they had, I basically have two choices. I can stop wearing my Adidas hat regardless of what, you know, it, it, the loss that I feel because I love it, right? Or I can, every single time it's brought up, I can talk against it. Not talk for it, right? Like, I'm not making excuses for it. I'm speaking out against it. And I think therein lies the biggest problem with Islam. We all like social media. And all the time, somebody will just say one even perceive, even, you know, remotely perceivable comment that's bad about Islam, and out of the woodwork comes like thousands of people to defend Islam, uh, Islamists who defend Islam. I mean, you know, not all Muslims, this and that. But then when there's a terrorist attack, utter silence, utter silence. Silence. If white supremacists stopped, started wearing Adidas hats, I'd stop wearing it right now. Right now. I'd take it off in the middle of this video. And you'd never see Adidas hat. And I have a, a dozen of these things. You know, all different colors. And, and you'd never see me wear another one, dude. You'd never see me wear another one. I would get rid of them. Because I wouldn't want to be lumped in the same boat with them. Not only that... But then every single time I heard of anything remotely, uh, you know, about any kind of white supremacist group or anything, you would hear me do nothing but rant about how, you know, I feel like they've ruined it and blah, blah, blah. I mean, ad nauseum. People would get tired of hearing me. Tired of it. And, you know, why is it that when there's an attack from Muslims extremists. Yeah, and they are Muslim extremists. And I understand that other groups in this world do do attacks, but no one, no group on this planet does anything like how Islam does. No one. And you just hear, you know, virtual silence. I think that is the fundamental reason that they don't change. Because Muslims can talk all day about how liberating it is and awesome to be a Muslim. But if you can't speak out against anything in your religion, it isn't liberating. Nowadays, it's very popular, like during the Women's March. Uh, one of the main people who put it together was a uh, Muslim apologist lady. And, you know, she wore an American flag as a hijab on the poster and, like, sat up there and talked about how Islam was conducive to women's rights and Muhammad was the first uh, feminist and all this kind of shit. It's bullshit, dude. That's utter bullshit. The difference is, is you know, the, the feminists a few years ago were chanting, don't tell us what to wear. Okay, but, but when it comes to Islam, they look at that like, oh, it's a statement of women's power. No, it's not. Not if you're forced to wear it. I thought you didn't want to be told what to wear, but it's okay when it's from some authoritarian bullshit religion, right? That's ridiculous. Muslim <laughs> Islam is the furthest thing from feminism as I think you can get in the religions. Um, a dude named Sargon of Akkad made a video yesterday, and he said it best, I think, when he said... Uh, you know, why Why is it that, that Islam is known as the religion of peace? You know, what, what about Buddhism, right? Like, what, you know, what about the, uh, the Krishnas, you know? These people won't hurt a fly. Shouldn't they be the religion of peace? I think so. 
So if you want change in this world and you claim that you're liberated in your religion, then either you agree with those fundamental uh, Islam extremists or you don't actually have freedom. You can't actually have it both ways. That's about all I have to say on this subject. Please take these words to heart. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Socrates. If you enjoy my content, please share and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.